Great, thanks Fish. And it is day one of EAA Air Venture in Oshkosh. More than half a million aviation fans are expected to attend. We're checking back in with our Emily Byer. She joins us live there with more. Good morning, Em. Hey guys, good morning everyone. Now today it's all about the planes, but what's even more exciting is learning a little bit more about the history of some of these planes. Now I'm joined by Chris Henry. Chris, you actually worked on this plane behind us. Tell that, me about that. That's correct. Yes, I uh, worked on this airplane when I was uh, started out when I was 12 and uh, probably through the uh, late 90s uh, back in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay, how did that ha How? I don't understand. <laughs> how did that happen? Well, it was a little air museum called Air Heritage just north of Pittsburgh and uh, there was a great group of volunteers who were very eager and willing to teach young kids to uh, come out and help restore airplanes like this. Uh, Claire Paisy was a, uh, one of those inspirational people, so many others that are still with this aircraft. And um, if it wasn't for them, uh, I wouldn't be here because they are the ones who first introduced me to EAA and brought me here in 96. Definitely. And you were telling me earlier that other airports across the nation, they've heard of Oshkosh. Oh, yes. Yeah. You can go to any airport in the world and in their language say Oshkosh and they <laughs> immediately know what you're talking about and where you are, you're talking about. So. And that's kind of the beauty of EAA because this is an area to learn more about aircrafts and aviation and to, to be enthusiastic about it. So tell me more about tell me more about this plane and what you uh, getting to see it come in yesterday. I believe you're telling me a little bit more about that. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't know what time it was coming in. We were <laughs> sitting down there and it, it touched down and it was just like seeing an old friend. Mm -hmm. Uh, this airplane is a C-123 provider used during Vietnam and a uh, really special airplane. It was he destined for the boneyard uh, to, <laughs> to, to be junked out. Uh, the crew at Air Heritage uh, went out and, uh, and saved the airplane. Uh, there were actually coyotes living in it when I first found it out in the Tucson desert. And uh, through a multi-year restoration, uh, the airplane is out serving and, and still you know, out there uh, you know, honoring our, our Vietnam veterans with this airplane. A lot, of, a lot of emotion from Vietnam vets when they see this aircraft. Definitely. And I was just going to talk about that. Some of the Vietnam vets, have you been able to talk to any of them and, and, you know, and kind of engage with them a little bit more about, hey, I built this, and they can tell, share stories with you about their absolutely. experience with it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I spent a lot of time uh, stripping out paint and uh, a preservative off different parts of the airplane and people would come out just to see the airplane who served in Vietnam and they would share their stories with us and a lot of times their families were with them and after they would tell their story and they would go out to look at the airplane their families would come over and say he's they've never told us that story we've never heard that story before so yeah. it was kind of a, a healing uh, mechanism if you will yeah definitely you guys this is just one story of so many here at EAA you're definitely gonna want to check out and see history in person so we have more information for you on our website NBC 26.com we'll send it back to you guys all right thanks Emily